What's going on YouTube? Rob A again, and it's time for part two of our Creo Dungeons and Dragons Army Builder Packs. Uh, so I went ahead and went out and got four more of these guys. Uh, I believe I got, let's see, numbers 15, 14, 13, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and 12. Uh, so for those of you who do not know, there is a number on each bag on the back on the back of the package. There's a number back here, uh, just along the side, and the last two digits will basically they are coded to tell you what's inside the bag. So uh, last time I did the little video on three of these guys, and uh, you can eat, there's even a little checklist, and I marked off what was what. And I've got my little checklist here, so I can add to that. Like, the number 9 was the Orc Axeman. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and open these guys up. We're going to check them out. And then I'll pause the video. I'll put the figures together. And then we'll, uh, we'll actually take a look at what they look like in person. So, uh, we'll start off with 12. I'm just going to pop this open here. And, yep. Yeah, Army Builder Packs. You get that little guy. And what do we got? What do we got here? You've got an orc fighter. Cool. Uh, so yeah, orc fighter was in bag number 12. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Alright, bag number 12, orc fighter. For anyone interested in that particular figure. We'll put that right off to the side for the moment. Uh, bag 13. We've got Orc War Drummer, uh, which is very cool. Cool looking drum thing. I'm, I'm excited to have that. Uh, so that's awesome. And we'll put this guy right over here. And that was, what, 13? Neato. 13. There you go. Bag number 14. Pop this guy open. Get the little coupon out of the way. Oh, Statue Warrior. I think this was definitely one of the ones I was excited about here. Statue Warrior. Um, very, very cool. And that was 14. So, there's the bag. I'll put that right over there for now. And I'll write that down real quick, like. Fourteen, and last one is bag number fifteen. And we have what do we got? It's a human. We've got Fighter. <laughs> hey, Fighter. <laughs> so bag number 15 is the human Fighter. So pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to put these guys together, and then we will check them out in hand. So I will see you guys in just a moment. All right, guys. So here we go. And uh, we'll start over here on the left with the Fighter. Because um, he's probably the, I guess, least impressive of this particular batch that I've got here. Um, but he's actually pretty cool. I mean, he's got a nice, very nicely printed torso, as these all have been. Uh, he's got printed legs that are a bit dark. Um, he's got a very interesting face print. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the, the lines in his face, like the different patches of darker color just kind of I don't know make his face look weird uh, rather than I'm sure they just wanted it to look you know more grizzled uh, but he's got a really cool sword a uh, very nice sword there uh, he's got some rubbery hair that you can pull right off and, and squish if you so desire uh, yeah nothing on the back as usual and uh, I mentioned this in the last review but if, in case you didn't see it all of these uh, all of the D&D &D figures come with the little green base plate uh, that you can use as, um, you know, as the base. You don't. You, they also come with the Creo brick uh, that you don't have to use if you don't want to. I've just been kind of leaving it all together for the sake of the review. 
Um, but uh, there you go, you do get that. And there is the fighter. Very nice. Um, next up, we have the Statue Warrior. And this guy's really cool. I love the printing on his torso and legs and face. Um, his eyes look kind of dark, but they're actually like a metallic green uh, printed onto his face. Uh, and I just love all the cracks and the little lines of color showing through. Uh, I think it looks great overall. He's got a little hammer. Um, and uh, you turn around, there's nothing on his back either. But he does have this sweet little uh, kind of stone mohawk thing going on. That's pretty neat. And there is the statue warrior. And you can put him right back there. Up next is the orc drummer. Uh, the war drummer, I guess. Uh, he's got a cool drum. It's uh, the the problem I had with this is that they give you, you know, they give you a piece of string that you have to tie yourself. And I'm sorry, but my fingers are just not small enough to make decent knots uh, to get any kind of length out of this string. Um, so one side is actually came came loose on one end just because you know I couldn't couldn't get my fingers around it to make it small enough, but. There you go, he does come with this little brick-built drum. Very nice uh, printing on the tile there. And I'll just show you his his torso print. It's very Panthro-esque. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cool cool printing on the torso. Again, nothing, nothing on the back. Um, and then you just kind of put that right over his little neck stud. Pop his face on, I'll show you his face. So, very cool. He looks really, really pumped to do his job drumming, so he can he can get that going on. Like nobody's business. Oh, uh, boy. And, uh, of course, last but certainly not least is the Orc Fighter. Uh, and this guy is armed to the teeth, or armored to the teeth, I should say. Uh, he's got a big poleaxe thing going on here. Very cool. And, uh... I'll show you his face real quick, if it wants to, um, there we go. So there's his face, uh, he's got a very cool helmet going on as well, there's the helmet. And I'm just going to pop his head off so you can see his torso printing, very, very basic torso print, uh, really not too much going on there, I mean it's, it's nice looking. Uh, leg printing a little bit and you can put his uh, put his armor back on here nothing on the back as usual I'm just going to assume that none of these crayons are going to have back printing at all so uh, and you can actually pop the shoulder pauldrons off nice spiked armor there and he's actually got a little painted kind of bracers going on there so very very nice overall um, I really am impressed with these D and D crayons, and I, I kind of wish they had started coming out a little, a little sooner before the crayon line was on its way out. Uh, I've seen pictures at, at uh, Toy Fair is going on right now. If you if you've been uh, keeping up with that, and there are pictures of another wave of these, and they look really really cool. Um, I'm really excited about it. Hopefully they actually show up. They come out in stores. Um, I would love to see a Creo Beholder, <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Uh, each of them comes with this little card, or, you know, a different card depending on who it is. Uh, and it's just, I'm not sure what this number is exactly, but uh, maybe it's like a point system where you have to pay a certain amount of points to get a certain character. I don't, I don't really know, but um, these are their stats down here, you know, attack, defense, all that, all that stuff. Uh, each of them comes with this little card, and so you can use that either, you know, start a new game with it or use it in an existing... Like, I think these are pretty good for, you know, if you're running a D&D &D game, you can actually use these uh, as your character, as a little, you know, a little avatar for your character or whatever. Um, so that's really, really cool. I, I like where they're going with this line. I think it's... I don't know necessarily how I feel about the large sets, but all these all these crayons have been have been pretty great. So I'm excited about them. I'm definitely uh, looking forward to completing this wave of uh, blind bag crayons. And so 
that is what I will do. And as soon as I have uh, picked those up, I'll, I'll get a review out to you guys. So that's going to do it for this review. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll be back soon with more uh, more D&D Creo. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.